John Frederick up uh, with the call as uh, we'll be welcoming in our top 10 riders in reverse order. One twist again as they are going to be switching horses. They'll be riding a strange horse for the final round as the final part of our test for these riders. They have the hunter phase, testing the hunter style of riding, the jumper phase, and now the versatility phase as we test our riders as we test our riders here with their ability to ride a strange horse. Starting us off here is Ashton Alexander, number 873. As uh, she joins us, she carries a score of uh, 168.125 in for this round. She is aboard the amount of Maya Nayar for the phase here in our final competition. Well, she's aboard the entry of Maya Nayar, and she is aboard Canaro, a book run farm entry. And this is Ashton Alexander, our first to go. Well, that was the ride of Ashton Alexander of Ocala, Florida. Our judges, uh, team one is uh, Linda Huff from Wellington, Florida, and Jimmy Toronto of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Team two is Philip DeVita of Apopka, Florida, and Mark Leone as the rider representative judge and here out of his home base in the state of New Jersey. Again, our riders uh, here as they return are uh, again joining us uh, for the return performance as they swap horses. Uh, again, from a predetermined swap, this was drawn way before the finals even started. So again, uh, is uh, our next rider in, uh, the rider who's standing in ninth coming into this round, will be switching with the rider who was in seventh, riding uh, the horse of Elizabeth Adelson. So as our next rider joins us, the scores are in. And uh, Tally, we will not be showing you the scores for the third round, as we'll welcome in our next rider in the work-off. Megan McPherson will be our next rider in, uh, as uh, she is award number 945. This is class action, that uh, is uh, her amount she qualified on, and Megan's out of Boulder, Colorado. Megan is now switching horses for this round, and she is aboard Elizabeth Adelson's mount. She is aboard uh, entry 904, the horse that she is riding for this round, Bull Runs Rubicon. And Megan McPherson comes back uh, for this round with a 168.75.
Now our judges are looking for an even pace. The horse and rider should beat the jump in a perfect arc. Uh, they are judging uh, again on the rider's ability. It should look, if it looks very easy and flawless to you as their ride, that should earn a big score. And the knockdowns in this class are penalized by the judges opinion here they will decide if the uh, feel it was the rider's fault or just a little laziness on the horse so uh, a, a major error by the rider causing a rail you'll see a major point deduction it's uh, just a horse to having a light rub uh, again they'll just deduct four points from the score that they would be at calling in those are judges here uh, deliberate on the uh, score for megan mcpherson from colorado Scores are in uh, for Megan, and we'll welcome in our next rider for the uh, test here in our top 10 ride off, final round of our Washington International Horse Show Equitation Finals. This is Maya Nayar. Entry number 946. Maya hails from New York, New York, and Maya has uh, changed horses with Morgan Ward in the predetermined draw. Maya's mount for the ride off is Bellagio. She comes into this round with a 168.875. Maya Niar of New York wrapping up her efforts here in our vinyl write-off. Again, Maya was on the uh, Morgan Ward uh, mounts, uh, Palacio, and uh, now we'll move on to uh, Now we have uh, in uh, Elizabeth Adelson, number 904. Elizabeth is on Megan McPherson's uh, Mount Class Action. Coming in with a 170.250. Elizabeth Adelson of Tulsa, Oklahoma, with uh, her ride off efforts.
Yeah, yeah riders right, returning in reverse order of merit. Uh, the low score to the leader will be uh, coming back in the final positions. We watch uh, Elizabeth Adelson's uh, replay up on the uh, Jumbotron aboard class action. Scores are in, and uh, we will move now to the fifth of our, our riders in the order, currently in sixth place, coming into the final ride off. As we'll welcome in next rider from the state of New Jersey, here is Morgan Ward. Morgan, as uh, again, will be riding Ashton Alexander's mounts in the uh, switch, and uh, she is aboard Fernway Park. Morgan Ward. Again, now we're halfway through after this round of our top 10 ride-off. Morgan Ward from New Jersey, returning next with a 171 flat. Morgan Ward uh, from New Jersey wrapping up uh, her efforts here in our final ride off. We're at the halfway point now with five remaining riders to go. And again, as we uh, said earlier, the rails uh, will be the discretion of the judges uh, so they feel the severity of the rider's error. If it is a rider or horse error, again, the rider error will be uh, penalized more heavily. If it is a horse error, again, a minor deduction will be taken. Five riders have gone so far as uh, we await the scores coming in now for Morgan Ward. Again, we will not be revealing the scores until the overall final presentation. Scores are in uh, for our rider Morgan Ward and we'll uh, move on now to our top five coming in to our final ride off. Next in from Hampshire, Illinois is Caitlin Boyle. She's wearing 855 for scoring purposes. And Caitlin has uh, changed horses with TJ O'Mara. Her mount for the uh, final ride off is Cascade. So Caitlin Boyle from Hampshire, Illinois aboard TJ O'Mara's Cascade for the final ride off. She comes back with a 173.25.
Caitlin Boyle of Illinois uh, wrapping up her ride uh, as uh, again she was aboard Tito Maris Mount uh, Cascade for the final ride off. Again, our riders who qualified at horse shows held across the United States. Uh, more than 1,500 riders uh, qualified. It came down to 40 riders who uh, made it to the finals. We have worked our way down through two rounds of competition to the top 10 coming back here for this evening's competition. Past winners of this competition have gone on to represent the United States, win the Grand Prix here at the Washington International, and even make the Olympic Games and earn a gold medal. Scores are in as uh, we have the, the scores for Caitlin Boyle. And we'll work our way up now to the top four. Coming in next as we uh, work our way towards the highest scoring rider through the first two rounds of competition. Michaela Langmeyer will be our next rider in, our young rider who uh, hails from the state of Connecticut. Entry number 877. And she, uh, again, is from East Granby, Connecticut. Michaela is switching with Michael Hughes. And uh, she is aboard entry 875. Uh, the horse she is riding is fin Finnick. And uh, her number, for scoring purposes, is number 877. Here's Michaela Langmeyer. She comes back with a 176.25. And Michaela Langmeyer from Connecticut wraps up her work. Uh, she came into this round with a 176.25. Reminder, if you've been bidding in the silent auction, it will close at 9 o'clock. So again, check on your bids. You can bid online if you're at home listening to us on the World Wide Web. Go to WashingtonInternational.org and you can bid online on it. A lot of great items, including the saddle that Reed Kessler rode on Solana in the Olympic Games in London. We are set with the scores uh, for Michaela and we'll welcome in our Number three rider in the rankings coming into this final round. T.J. O'Mara at the gate receiving a final instructions from his uh, training squad here as we welcome in our rider from the state of New Jersey. Here is number 852, T.J. O'Mara from Rumson, New Jersey. T.J. has switched with Hunter Holloway and he is aboard Hunter's Mount. DJ aboard any given Sunday for our final round off.
TJ O'Mara from New Jersey wraps up his efforts. Uh, we have two riders remaining here in our final work off. Watch the uh, replay there as they come to the Animal Planet fence. This is TJ O'Mara. Having a very successful fall season as we uh, work our way up to our top riders. We have the scores in for uh, TJ. We are moving on now to our number two rider in the ranking coming into our final work off, and that is number 875, Michael Hughes. Michael from Allendale, New Jersey, and Michael has switched mounts with Michaela Langmeyer, and his mount for the final work off is Skyfall. Coming back here with a 178.75. Our top three separated just by fractions of a point here coming into the final round. Michael Hughes from Allendale, New Jersey, uh, completing his work. He came into it with a 178.75. The third place was a 178.125, and the leader, a 178.875. When we talk about these riders uh, as athletes, the horses, athletes, and superstars as well. Michael Hughes. Michael Hughes uh, from Allendale, New Jersey. Trained by Father Eamon Hughes, along with the uh, team at uh, North Run, Missy Clark, John Brennan, 